concept of inheritance. When we think of money, what if we all educated our own children? That would be a true inheritance. Would that lead to the same gross inequalities of wealth, gross inequalities of intelligence, IQ, wisdom, and all the antonyms of those? Would it equal out the wealth? Why? How? How to educate your own children? What would we find out about them and ourselves? Universal basic income is a concept, not a new one, but it's getting a resurgence because of the threat of technology. Technology is a monster. Non-fungible transfers, non-fungible assets are a monster. Artificial intelligence, digital realities take over real life. How long can we go on corrupting who we delegate to educate our children's authority? The absenteeism of the toilet past taken on trust. The monopolisation of attention by poor behaviour, low-level disruption, contempt. Children are monsters. Here I present to you a teaching resource for your home and a comparison chart to help your student identify how they're feeling right now. Universal basic income to a, perhaps to a Brexit government is a monster. It might produce a baby boom that might help pay for the older population that the Brexit government didn't manage to kill off during Covid. Covid saw a bit of an experiment in universal basic income. We were all paid to stay at home. Now, some people used that time productively, not sure if I did, and generated other income streams, they tend to be called, don't they? What those people produce, would that lead to inflation, and so the universal basic income would become less and less and cost any government more and more? Or would it be more equatable to how luxury goods industries in the ancient regime in France were produced for the very few by the masses. Labour-intensive luxuries could be improving the quality of human achievement and thinking and reason. What is universal basic income? It's an unconditional periodic cash payment that a government makes to everyone with no strings attached. There has been a British politician recently that's said um, handicapped people should qualify for their income support by working from home. It's their duty. Benefit income support is a very different thing. There have been winter fuel payments since the war in Ukraine and the Russian gas pipeline crisis. This is made to everyone regardless of need. Could this be the start of a piecemeal universal basic income? Writers, politicians and others have endorsed the idea of a minimum guaranteed income. Proponents include reformers who aim to address problems with the status quo and futurists who are more concerned about the threat of technological unemployment or see a basic income as a cornerstone of an eventual utopia. A utopia isn't only ever a good thing. Dystopia doesn't really need to exist as a word because someone's utopia is someone else's nightmare. Experiments have been done in a lot of countries and it can substantially reduce severe poverty and associated miseries. It's not based on means testing, which means that a head fund manager and a homeless person receive the same amount. Unconditional periodic cash payment that the government makes to everybody. Questions remain concerning the affordability of basic income and whether citizens who receive it would continue or seek to work. In Covid and before really, the Spanish government announced that it planned to pay basic monthly income to roughly a million of the country's neediest households to help them through the pandemic. Where do they get the money from? Is it South American gold? Iberia does have a huge gold reserve. Britain sold off its gold. It just looks after other people's gold now. But what it invested that money in does enable it to carry out such policies. But it does need no more war. War is a parasite on finances and an opportunity for greed. 
Martin Luther King Jr., Napoleon, Thomas Paine, socialists and libertarians, or Finnish bureaucrats, Silicon Valley tycoons. Some policies have a habit of creating strange bedfellows, but none more so than the idea of governments should guarantee their citizens a minimum level of income, not by creating jobs or providing traditional welfare, but by cutting checks for the same amount to everyone. We are all subject to the algorithms that are learning to perform a growing number of blue and white collar jobs, which means that there may not be enough paid employment to go round. As an architect, I've found this to be true in a stagflation, stagnated economy, which is good for the environment. If people aren't travelling to work in their masses, it's good for the environment. Could basic income, universal basic income, save the planet? In the 1970s, the 1980s and the 1990s, there were student grants offered by the British government to the most able students to go to university and continue education. These have dwindled and now there's student debt, which feeds a first testament economy. After winter fuel payments could, reinstating student grants from government be the next step towards a universal basic income? that grand experiment. Can those students, highly educated students, then become overseas foreign workers for countries that need them? Do they become a welfare export, perhaps a little bit like the Philippines exports so many nurses? The Iroquois Native Americans were farmers, not foragers, and made an impression with their way of life on Thomas Paine and Henry George. AI will, like all human invention, take from society. It will dispossess more than half the inhabitants of every nation of their natural inheritance without providing for them. It as ought to have been done without the triumph of greed. There's an indemnification for that loss and has thereby created a species of poverty and wretchedness that did not exist before in times of cultivation. Payne looked upon it as a grand rent to be paid when you turn 21 and then a sum to be paid every year after that until Sioux Native American chiefs visiting East Coast cities were horrified at seeing little children at work. Understandably, during the Great Depression in America, in the 1930s, a minimum income was proposed and 300 times that as a maximum income. The anthropologist studying the Kung people, hunter-gatherers. Martin Luther King endorsed anthropological studies of this nature on universal basic income. 1950 is the first phrase. As so many things that could benefit the whole of humanity, the Reagan-Thatcher era stamped on universal basic income. A coupon-based stock market where you can't cash out? Your 401k? We have now come full circle to monsters.